I know it's silly to be goofing around with a tubal bit, but this is fun. <laughs> I gotta get the shot. I don't want to go down that too far. It's a fairly easy trail, but thing is I don't have four wheel drive. I'm stupid. <laughs> it's getting dark and I don't know what the rest of that trail looks like down there. So I don't want to get into a situation where I'm like, well, I can't back, you know, turn around and, and then, you know, I'm stuck. Kind of some fun. I love that truck. It might be better if it was four wheel drive, but <laughs> hey, if you're having fun. That's all that matters. I don't know if there's gonna. I don't think I'm gonna do anything else. There's one particular spot I'm trying to find. I can't find it because I don't remember the trails I took to get to it. But it was really cool because it was pointed out that way somewhere. And I think this is uh, north, give or take. And somewhere out here was just an open spot, like a clear cut area. And you could just see out to the to everything. And I thought it was it was beautiful. So one day I'll find it again. Anyways, I think I might go home. If there's a bonus video, cool. If not, oh well. Come on, second gear, let's go. Alright, so we're gonna go right. My apologies if the camera starts to get dark. I'll probably shut it off until I can't see out of the thing. Um, actually, I did a video with this camera on my phone a long time ago before I had these HODs and you couldn't see anything on the camera. Granted, it was actually a little bit darker than this, but since I got these HODs, I think you'll actually be able to see at least um, wherever the light's point. I've got 5,000K HIDs in it. I like them. Uh, now I think I just need a set of dedicated off-road lights to help light up everything else when I'm out here. I can do st stupid stuff like this, drive into the grass. Accelerate really hard in second gear. <clears throat> I really don't have, as far as two-wheel drive goes, much issues uh, grabbing traction. I mean, it'll fight a tiny bit if I'm really pushing it. But for the most part, the tires I have on here and the LSD really helps out. I do have a highway gear in this thing and it does fantastic. Although if I was dedicating this to off-road, I probably would put a at least a <clears throat> at least put the 350 back into it. 350 ring opinion. I have a three to one right now. And I have no cooling fan on this truck. Just running my heater every now and then just to, so I can stay warm but my cooling temp has not gone crazy at all so this thing doesn't really need an electric fan plus it's about it's probably about 40 degrees out now you can see the trail right in front of me that's great it's funny is with the camera I can see where the actual beam is and I need to move everything over to the left a tiny bit but I think for right now it's Road here. Yeah, I came out of this road and went up that road that we just came off of. Now they put this new gravel in here, and let me tell you. And now I feel like I'm in my Explorer, or the one I used to have. I think they put this gravel in here so that people won't go any faster than 15. And I think if you had a Ford Raptor, you'd still be doing like 40. <laughs> I go 15 because I don't, I don't want to go too fast and pop a tire. My camera's uh, 
gyro thing or whatever it was just kind of freaking out there. That was great. I can feel when the back end really starts moving. It kind of wants to go to the left a tiny bit. So I'm in second gear, doing 15. Actually, just a little under 15. I don't want to go too fast. Todd Buck's got some interesting trails we think his Bronco on. Oh yeah, Todd. Expecting a video. Okay. I like hitting the bumps. Full of water. It's a lot of fun. Seatbelt back on because I'm getting ready to hit the highway. I probably could have taken that trail. <laughs> okay, that's an 